Hi there, I'm Brett with Terrapin Station Exotics. Recently, there's been a lot of people asking uh, online uh, about me, about my business, about my animals, about my husbandry, about all kinds of stuff. If you're one of those people who has questions, I'm glad you're here to watch this video. I probably won't be able to address all the questions, um, but the purpose of this video is to let you get to know me a little bit and to show you my world. One thing I've learned is that if I don't tell my story, uh, there are people out there who, for whatever reason, uh, will tell it for me or some version of it. Like most adults who are in the hobby, my interest in reptiles started when I was young. <clears throat> First with dinosaurs, uh, then with uh, native species in my area that I could catch. Uh, then, I don't know, grade school, I discovered pet stores. And uh, my first pet reptiles that I was able to keep, that I was allowed to keep, uh, were two green anoles that lived in a 10 gallon uh, bioactive vivarium. And that was way before the word bioactive was used in situations like that. Um, I had water turtles, I had box turtles, I had iguanas, um, I had an owl monitor, uh, never should have been able to have that, um, and other various reptiles when I was young. Uh, when I went away to college, I wasn't able to have reptiles in the dorm, anything in the dorm really. Um, and so uh, when I got my first apartment down in Joplin, Missouri, uh, first thing I did, or one of the first things I did, was I uh, found a pet store and I bought a ball python. Uh, I started a family down in Missouri, and aside from a couple bearded dragons, uh, I really didn't have any other reptiles until about six years ago. My family and I moved back to central Illinois. Um, in January of 2017. Um, and not long after that, an old friend uh, reached out and sent me a text message that said, I can come over to my place and have a beer and see my turtles. And uh, from that night on, my world was different. Uh, the handful of ornate diamondback terrapins that he showed me in his garage, uh, it sparked something in me that has been one of the craziest rides I've ever been on. And honestly, one of the craziest rides I've ever heard about. Uh, that friend and I started Terrapin Station Exotics together. Uh, we had big hopes and big dreams. Over the next three years, uh, we worked really hard to build our breeding groups um, in diversity and numbers. Um, we worked very hard to build our breeding facilities. Uh, we built custom filtration. We built uh, custom incubators, custom hatchling racks. Uh, you name it, uh, we did it. And, and that was all gearing up for uh, what was to come. Uh, we also spent a lot of time building our social media accounts and I built a website. Then, uh, one cold day in February of 2021, uh, I got a text message from uh, my business partner and friend and he told me that he wanted to go his own direction. He wanted to step away from the business. Um, and he said that, um, being in business was hard on our friendship. <clears throat> and he wanted to separate the two, which is fine. Uh, he went his own way and uh, we haven't spoken since. It was a dark time in TSC history. I had known this guy since we were in grade school and he was the one who introduced me to Diamondback Terrapins in the first place. We built a business together and right before everything was about to start making sense, he left. Uh, shortly after that, he joined forces with another Terrapin hobbyist, um, and I realized I had some decisions to make. Part of me wanted to sell everything and kind of forget the previous three years never even took place. The other part of me wanted to do the opposite. I decided to downsize my groups and hone in on specific traits of some of my animals. And at this point, I think I had 27 breeding adults. Um, and then shortly after that, a friend offered to invest into TSE, uh, which opened up the opportunity to get into a project that I have wanted to do for years, really since the beginning, um, albino terrapins. Uh, so two albino ornates, uh, a 3.2 group of het adults um, were acquired. And shortly after I began the year-long process of building this place. Every bit of work done in this place was me. Um, it demanded most every evening, most weekends, uh, for the better part of a year. Um, but I can say with confidence that there's not another facility like this in the world. 
Every detail was carefully thought out. Most of my systems and most of my processes here uh, are either automatic or Wi-Fi controlled. Everything was built with efficiency in mind. Um, and because of my trials and errors over the previous years, um, I had a vision and I had a plan for how to get there. In the grand scheme of things, the reptile world's fairly small. Even smaller is the little corner of the hobby that we find ourselves in with Diamondback Terrapins. Uh, when there's a relatively small group of people sharing a common interest, there's usually uh, some expected drama or volatility uh, that comes along with that group. <clears throat> this drama is typically fueled by jealousy or uh, a certain member of the community's desire or need to feel validated among their peers. Uh, and although I have remained quiet and I've kept to myself for the better part of two years now, I have been targeted by certain members of that small community. One person in particular has seemed to make it his mission to talk trash about me and my business. For the life of me, I have no idea why he's so obsessed with me. I think maybe he just had too much time on his hands living in his parents' house and collecting people's money from his Patreon account. Not sure. He spread rumors about the ethics of my husbandry. He's done his best to sway potential customers in his direction or in the direction of others. And the most ironic part is he has publicly criticized me for my pricing of the animals that I've produced. The reason that last part is so ironic is because he's the king of high prices. Even more so, he prices animals super high that he did not even produce. He's flipping terrapins and selling them, some as much as $6,500. Um, honestly, I just hope they were captive bred. I mean, nobody knows. All the while, he's been very outspoken about not being about the money. I think he said that in most of his videos at some point. Um, and he's also said he's very conservation minded. I honestly hate doing things like this. I hate it with a passion. I just couldn't keep this stuff to myself anymore. To know that this person who I don't even know, honestly, I met him in person one time whatever he's talking so much trash about me he does not know me at all this guy has talked so much trash about me in his videos and in the facebook group that i created years ago the hypocrisy of the guy who points a finger at me while he overcrowds his terrapins in two tubs on his back porch while he's trying to sell turtles for way more than he should is beyond shocking to me. Maybe I'm all wet. Maybe I'm wrong about all of it. Sure would be nice if I was. I'm not though. Life is too short to hold grudges. I would like to publicly invite this individual to my facility. I would love to show him around, show him why I do things the way I do, what I do, who I am, who Terrapin Station Exotics is, and maybe that could clear up some misconceptions he has. Uh, maybe we could even find a common ground somewhere. Thanks for watching this video. I promise the next one will have more terrapins in it.